Hey, this is Steve Stravacci, and today's video is about two great products from Reunion Blues Gig Bags. Uh, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I have been touring with this gig bag for the last five years. I did a demo of it when I first got it, and I just did a five-year update. This has been all over the world with me and has been super reliable. So Reunion Blues wanted to send me an upgrade, so they sent me this amazing Continental Voyager. This is also a double bag. And this is their flagship double bag, so it's a little bit more expensive. I've been getting a lot of questions on which one uh, people should buy. People are writing pros and cons of each and what I think of both of them. So if you haven't seen either demo of these, I have separate demos on my channel. You, you feel free to check those out. But I wanted to get into the comparison of these. So if you're a touring musician, first of all, and you're flying, I would definitely want to go with the RBX only because it's a little smaller. There's two ways to think about this. When you're flying with guitars, it's always a problem getting them into the overhead and you want it to seem as small as possible so that it takes up the least amount of room. That's where I would give the edge to the RBX because it's a little thin, a little bit thinner. And it's a little bit shorter. And it's probably the same width about the same width. When it comes to traveling and getting onto planes, you definitely want the smallest package possible. So if you're flying, I would recommend the RBX, but also this will definitely fit in the overhead bin. The reason that I would also possibly lean this way, if it doesn't fit in the overhead, having this one gate checked, you'll probably be a lot safer than having this one gate checked. The only reason being, and again, the RBX is a little bit cheaper, so it's not a it's not a knockoff by any means. But look at the inside of the RBX. You'll see there's no Velcro strap, and it's a little bit thinner on here on the Voyager. It's a one inch thick uh, padding on the front, so it's a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter. You could really move around with this much easier than its bulkier older brother here. If you look at the inside of here, your guitar locks into here. You got the Velcro strap. You got the extra pads at the bottom. This is a lot thicker and it's a little bit heavier duty than the RBX. So if you're doing heavy traveling, this might be your best bet. If you're just humping your gear to gigs, to vans, and it's going in the trailer, this would probably be your easiest day-to-day -day operator as far as reliability and durability and the ability to protect your your guitars. This definitely has the edge for protection. It's a little bit heavier, but again, that's a sacrifice that you should be willing to make when it comes to keeping your, your guitar safe. So this is definitely safer, harder, a little bit more heavy duty. They both have similar backpack straps. There's really no difference there. They both have the subway grip here that you can reach under and grab when you're uh, when you're mobile. They both have the zero G handle. And the zero G handle is something that Reunion Blues has designed to make the bag actually feel lighter. The Voyager has a shoulder strap option. If you want to use the shoulder strap, you can clip onto here and onto the bottom and use it as a shoulder strap. I've never personally done that. Um, I almost always go with the backpack or hold it by the handle. Something I forgot to film yesterday, um, I'm actually on my way to a gig right now, but I really wanted to make this point in favor of the Continental Voyager. If you're a Les Paul user or a Gibson user, you definitely are gonna wanna think about the Continental Voyager because the guitars both face outside, meaning that your headstock brake angle will both be inward. So having that brake angle on the inside means that if it falls on either face, that you won't have to worry about any type of headstock break in the traditional sense for a Les Paul. So having that headstock angle break inward is really, really convenient to the Les Paul user. Comparing that with the RBX, both of these are facing forward. So if you do have a Les Paul in this back area, this is much thinner. This is still, you know, it's still padded, but it's not nearly as protective as that. So if it were to fall on this, your Les Paul might still be in trouble, 
but again, traveled with it, used it, never had a problem. Overall, even the outside is much thinner than the Voyager. I would say a lot of less protective, but the overall, I would say that the, the Voyager double bag is stronger, more durable, and maybe a little bit more difficult to travel with. But that being said, I have traveled with this RBX for over five years. And this has, again, been all over the world with me. And I've never once had an issue with it. And I travel with Les Pauls, with Tellys, with everything that you can imagine has been in this bag and totally survived. You know, and I gig pretty hard. I travel the States, I travel Europe. And this has been 100% reliable for me. I personally have never had a single issue with this. All of the interior still held up. Again, you guys can check out the five-year update video I did on this bag, but there's nothing wrong with getting this bag. You know, I'm definitely a strong advocate for the RBX 2E. There's no, there's no flaw on this that I would say that it's better or worse than the Voyager. But like I said, if you want to be a little bit more cautious and you don't want to take any chances, then the Voyager is definitely your best bet Again, a lot stronger and a lot more durable. So, again, a quick summary of the two. Um, I would say they both are good when it comes to carrying them. The Continental is a little bit bigger, but that's not a problem. They both have the same handle, the same backpack straps, the same subway grip. They both carry two guitars. I would give the RBX the leg up when it comes to traveling. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to maneuver, but you sacrifice a lot of padding and a lot of safety compared to the Continental. It's really not that big of a difference in terms of travel, but there is a much bigger difference in terms of protection. The Continental will 100% protect your stuff a little bit better than the RBX will. But either way, you can't go wrong. Both of them are a win. Again, I've had this one for five years and never have once had a problem with it. I am 100% certain I will never have a problem with this one either. If I choose to use this, I'm going to use them both. This one will probably be more for local. This one will be more for flying and I'll be happy either way. No, I don't think you can go wrong either way. It's just a matter of what you're gonna personally prefer. If you wanna be on the safe side and go with this, then that's totally cool. If you want more lighter and easier to carry, then you go with this. Either way, you can't lose, and either way, your guitars are gonna be safe. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything, you can leave them down below in the, in the comments. Ask me questions. I'll be glad to get back to you guys and let you guys know what I think side by side. So whatever questions or concerns you have about these, let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. And thank you guys for watching. I hope that you choose a Reunion Blues gig bag and I hope that it works great for you.